install the black door handles on my Tacoma. I already have them. There, that takes care of that. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and I have a decision to make, and we're gonna get to that in just a minute, and that is, should I put the black door handles on my Tacoma? But before that, as you saw in the beginning, I uh, had a little project to do today. As you may have known, or you may know, if you watch my last or recent video, I uh, fixed the problem I had back here with this sitting flush. That was all done, but after taking the whole bed rack off, or the roll bar, whatever you prefer to call it, um, I had chrome exposed again on the screws, all the bolts, because of course I had to scrape them all up to get them all off so I could take care of that problem. So today I went through and I painted everything up. The bolts are freshly painted, still wet, as you can see there, just to kind of make them blend in a little more so they weren't blaring, right? Blaring silver. But in doing that, and some of you pointed this out to me in the last video, I had some scrapes or issues showing on the bed rack, the roll bar you know, where the paint had chipped off or probably damaged in shipping, to be quite honest. A couple of them I did know about. So while I had the black paint out, I thought I'd take the leap and go ahead and touch those up and hope that it didn't make it worse. In other words, that the black was a different hue or too shiny or too dull or whatever and stand out. So I went through and I touched it all up and you guys can see what it looks like right here. And I gotta say, it looks pretty darn good. I'm impressed. The paint actually matched up pretty darn well. Now, I'll show you because if you look at it closely, uh, then you can see where there, uh, there were nicks that I have touched up. So I'm going to point a couple of those out just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And we'll start just right up here. You see that little nick right there? There's a nick. That was uh, aluminum showing through. So I painted it black. And when you back off of it, you can't see it unless you get up close. And who's gonna be inspecting my roll bar with a magnifying glass anyway, right? The biggest one that stood out was right here. This one and that one, that's actually a nick. This is more of a scrape. Now, again, if you get close up like this, well, yeah, you can see it. And it looks much worse with my camera right on top of it than it does if you back off a bit, right? Matter of fact, when you back off, I don't think you can really see anything. So that came out pretty well. Wait a minute. Here is Krista with her lit up Jeep Wrangler. Check out those lights on the front. Thanks again to uh, Randall for bringing those over to us. They look awesome. Check that out. Just looks way cool. Now she's trying to run over me there. So anyway, the, uh, the roll bar is done. Uh, I am finished, I'm very happy with it. And I gotta say that flat black paint, and by the way, I did use a flat black paint. Let me show you guys exactly, because I know people always ask, what did you use? So I'll show you. Uh, this you is what I used. Were you talking about my lights? No. Yeah, you were. I would never. Aren't so, they just seriously kick butt? Do you like them? I love them. They're pretty cool, huh? They are awesome. I agree. I agree. Kind of giving me the urge. <laughs> uh, but anyway, here is the black paint I used. It's a Krylon Color Max Indoor Outdoor Flat Black. So there's what I used. It is a soap and water cleanup uh, and four metal wood and more. Um, pretty good stuff. Uh, let me tell you, I am not sponsored by those people. So now, to get to the point of the video, and that is the black handles, right? You can see it's got Voodoo Blue on it, and, you know, I go back and forth on this. I bought those handles probably, I'll bet you it's been at least a year ago now, something like that. And I'd have done it by now already, except for one thing. I'll tell you that in just a minute. But I'm curious. I'm going to tape one up here, and I want you guys to let me know what you think. And I'm sure you will. So let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll tell you what's been holding me back in addition to just the look. 
Okay, I've got one taped up there. I know this isn't the best representation because of course you've got the blue painters tape on there. But just to get a little bit of an idea maybe, that's kind of what I was hoping myself. Um, that's kind of an idea of what it would look like with the handles on there. And the whole reason I'm looking at doing that is kind of the blacked accessories or blacked out accessories on the truck, right? I mean, we've got the stone and bug guard there. We've got some black in the headlights on the sides. We've got the black mirror covers that I put on, by the way. The black window visors or vents right there. And then, of course, the black sport bar or roll bar, as well as the other black features on the truck. I mean, the tires are black after all, right? So I kind of thought that might be a kind of cool or kind of a cool feature to tie it all together. Now, I mentioned I would tell you why I haven't done it before. Um, let me take that off and I'll, I'll show you. Here's why I haven't done it before. You know, putting these on in the front is pretty simple. You pop this cap off. Um, on the back, there's a little grommet here. You pull that out. There's a screw behind there, right? And then you can lift this piece out pull the door handle forward, and it comes off really easily, right? Then slide the other one in, put this back in, tighten the screw, you're done. However, in the back, it's not quite that simple, um, you can take the whole door apart, the door card and all that stuff, to access a bolt that is actually behind this piece here. Now, I have seen some people, videos, where people have mentioned or talked about taking out these three bolts and then pushing this unit here, this piece down a little bit so that you can access the bolt that's right behind here. It's right behind this, but of course they didn't give you a space to be able to unscrew it. So you have to remove these three and hope you have enough room to push this down, but not push it down too far so you drop it into the door, right? Because if you do that, well then obviously you're gonna end up taking the door card and all this stuff off to get to that. That's the reason why it is not simple to do uh, and looks to be rather time consuming to me. So that's why I haven't done it yet. If it was the same as the front or as easy as the front, I would just take that one off, throw it on and see what I, what I thought about it. And I may do that anyway. I may go ahead, pop the front off, at least put one on and maybe cover up the back door or something. I don't know, so that I block out the blue one for perspective and see what it looks like. I haven't decided yet. I'm not sure. I do think it would look pretty cool, though. You know, I mean, for instance, if you look at the wife's Jeep here, it has black mirrors like mine, and it has black handles. So does my Jeep Gladiator sitting out there. I mean, it has black door handles, and it has the black mirrors. So it's not like I'm reinventing the wheel here, right? I think it would look pretty good. Might even give the truck a little bit of a European feel. I don't know. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I want your honest opinion. Do you think it would look good with black door handles? And I know I've asked this before, but I'm getting real close to just going ahead and pulling the trigger and doing it now. So I want um, one more uh, opinion, I guess, from you guys to see what you think. Leave a comment. Let me know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels the first is Rob Motive JT, all about that 2020 Jeep Gladiator sitting out there. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. Check them out. If you like them, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.